one of the biggest nightmare of a people manager is giving the right feedback. Well, in a study conducted by Harvard Business Review, they found that 85% managers struggle to give effective feedback. It's such a difficult topic. Let me explain to you through one of the case studies of one of my clients. He was having around 15 years of experience and he was leading a team of around 25 people. The challenge he was facing was the moment he gives feedback, people started taking it either as a criticism or it was coming as offensive or it was coming as sarcasm and he had no idea what to do. In fact, his higher management gave him a feedback that you are quite rude to people. You do not know how to empower people and he was like pissed off. If I stop giving feedback, people don't understand. If I appreciate and give feedback, people are thinking that my appreciation is wrong. I mean, he, had, he was clueless what to do further. And that's why he came to me for coaching and I started training him. So first I understood what is the issue? Why is he not able to give feedback? I asked, well, what do you do? He said, in the past I gave feedback and what I understood was that people are taking it personally. They take it as an offense. They feel bad about it. Some of them even complain to the higher authorities. So he, he said, what do I do now? He stopped giving feedback. If he stopped giving feedback, the problem was there was problems in the organization. So he had no idea. So once in a while he stopped tried giving feedback almost every week. There was coming too much of micromanagement and he was like clueless. He said, Vijay, something has to be done. So I said, okay, let me understand. So first I did his assessment and I found that his assertiveness is missing. And he's, he, he goes to a level where either he'll be silent or he'll go into attack mode. Both are not working because feedback doesn't work that way. And he was quite poor in building relationship with people. He was very much task oriented. So because he was task oriented, he was not knowing how to connect with people. So with this, I created a curriculum for him to first help him understand the different personalities of people. Based on the personalities, how to connect with them. This is the first thing I taught, which took around three months. In the next three to four months, I helped him strategically how to give feedback and what is the right way to handle conflict and feedback. So what I gave him, just a couple of modules, I'll tell you what I did. The so first thing I tell that never wait for a feedback to go to a level that you do it during appraisal or those sort of things. Don't wait for that time. Second thing I trained him was, Individually build connections with each team member of yours. Try to understand their pain point. Try to understand who they are. Try to understand what are their interests. Once you start understanding them and connecting with them, then ask them, I want to help you out. Do you want my help? Because I can see that there are certain things if you work on, you can actually grow to a big level and they, they were open to it. And once you took permission from them, then I told him that you're, when you start giving feedback to people, first and foremost, you should not give feedback with the anger state. You should not be feeling like angry. When you're angry, don't give feedback. Second thing, write down on paper clearly what is the issue rather than being, putting it across as a people, as a personal offense. Take it as this is the typical issue, these are things I saw and I feel this can be improved in this manner. So a criticism versus a feedback. A criticism is something when you pinpoint to a person this is the error and you have no idea how to the solution. A feedback is this, this is what you did, this is what you could have done and if you had done this, this is the outcome we could have expected and because of this, this is the loss we are facing. If you do this way, next time try it out, it will work out very big. Now this is a specific way of giving him feedback and I train him in further ways. So in the future modules, I train him that what is the right feedback, what is the personalized feedback, what is effective feedback, all those things I trained him up. And in six months, he was able to do it in a much better way. And after that, the outcome, what he started facing after six months was that teams bonding started developing, performance of the organization improved and things started improving in a much better way. Now, if you are one of the manager right now who is struggling in the same issues of connecting with people, giving the right feedback so that performance of the team is improved rather than frustration of the team, then you need some help. Drop me a message and let's have a virtual coffee. My experience can help you give effective feedback. It was great talking to you. I'll talk to you in my next video with some next topic.